So in case you don't, um, yeah. Well, I guess Steve Ann Braxton, um, <laughs> for two questions for you. First off, is Andrew Wiggins available? And if so, any minutes restriction for him? Uh, yeah, he's going to start, and um, he will be on a minutes restriction. Um, and so we'll, you know, we'll play him, you know, in, in shorter spurts. And yes, yeah, Dante will come off the bench. So uh, Jordan, Clay, Loon, Draymond, and Wiggs. And then have you thought any more about what Andre's minutes restriction will look like tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, he'll play um, – he'll – He'll play a couple of uh, uh, stints. I mean, it, it's it's flexible, so it'll kind of depend on how the game's going, how he's feeling. But um, he'll be out there tonight too. Steve, what's your biggest piece of advice for the young man on your right as a coach? Um, I would say um, be careful with the media for sure, because these guys, <laughs> you know, they're they're out to get us. Um, and uh, hopefully, you know, you, you get a, a better PR person than Raymond Ritter. But, you know, you just have to deal with the people who, you, you, you know, you're stuck with. Other than that, I think, you know, I like the outfit. You're wearing the same, same uh, top we're wearing tonight. I like the hat. I think, I think he's ready to go. In the rare chance he get ejected, does he fill in for your spot? <laughs> I'm more worried about Draymond getting ejected. Um, <laughs> But um, Braxton and I are gonna we're gonna talk to Draymond before the game. Make sure he's he's uh, under control tonight. Van Carroll and um, Van Carroll. Kind of the noise he's made his rookie season, and it's not really normal that a rookie has this kind of success. Yeah, he's he's a great player. I mean, he's uh, the thing that I didn't realize until I saw him. Um, live was how big he is. He, uh, he's just um, for a guy that's skilled and, and someone who moves as well as he does. You just don't expect to see that kind of size. So great combination. He's playing with a lot of confidence, and uh, he can do a lot of things out on the floor. They're running a lot of offense through him. So really uh, impressive young player. Hey Steve, uh, with this year's combination of both the old guard and the new guard, who has emerged as sort of the greatest bridge? The greatest bridge between bridge between them. I think Looney is kind of our bridge, you know, between our older and, and younger guys. Um, he, Looney is, um, you know, everybody has so much respect for him, and he's uh, he's at the age where he's um, he could be considered either. Um, part of you know part of either group, um, but he's he's one of our leaders and and he has so much respect that in a lot of ways he's the guys the guy who connects our team. Hi Braxton, I'm Dalton Johnson with the NBC Sports Bay Area. I want to ask you who your favorite Warriors player is, and before you make your coaching debut, what your favorite memory so far is as a fan. Um, my favorite player has got to be Steph Curry. And uh, my favorite experience so far is uh, shaking Paulo Benchero's hand. <laughs> Good answers. Steve, will Braxton offer some halftime words as well? Possibly, yeah. Okay. We'll see how it, how it plays out. Okay. And Braxton, what, um, what thoughts do you have? You watch Steve Kerr and the Warriors from afar. Uh, what, what do you plan to in, – what input do you plan to provide tonight? Um, to play hard and play with everything we have. That pretty much sums it up. That's good. <laughs> I like it. Hey, Steve. Um, Clay has obviously been through a lot of mental iterations, um, both last season and this season. Have you seen a new form of just sort of enjoyment and relaxation from him recently? Yeah, I think he was uh, a little stressed uh, earlier in the season, you know, um, slow start out of camp and, you know, having a minutes restriction and he was trying to force the issue. Um, so I, I do think uh, he's emerged from that and is, is playing um, in a more relaxed state. And it's one of the reasons he's, he's playing better. He's kind of letting things come to him more now. And he's talked about it, uh, about how much he's enjoying um, the game and and uh, I think one of the hardest things for um, any player to um, understand in the NBA it, it, um, 
maybe understand is the wrong word for clay, uh, but but to deal with is that they're just going to be bad nights no matter who you are, even if you're the best player in the league. You know, there's just nights where the ball doesn't go in, things don't go your way, and you have to have the uh, the the mental approach to just move past it and get ready for the next one. And uh, I think Clay has kind of refound that. He's you know he's had that in the past, but he had to um, kind of rediscover that this year, um, given what he was going through earlier in the season. I know today's technically Steph Curry, you know, reevaluation day. Um, how does he feel coming off practice yesterday? And what, how do you kind of envision the, the plan for him this upcoming week? Uh, I haven't talked to him today yet, but uh, yesterday went well. Uh, we didn't scrimmage for long, but uh, he's increasing his uh, workload with his own workouts. And He'll get uh, more work uh, this weekend, and then we'll just kind of reevaluate from there. But he's coming along well. It's for Coach Braxton, did you know that you were going to be up here sitting next to Steve, and how does this feel? Uh, I did not, and it's one of the best experiences I've had. What makes you want to be a coach? There's, uh, I think he'll tell you there's some some pressure involved, and um, sometimes you get yelled at by fans and <laughs> and uh, players too. Um, my one of my best friends, Eli Shaweka, is wanted to be an NBA player, and my goal is to coach him all the way. I love it. All right. So Braxton and I will see you after the game.